Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an unboxing and review of Cam Park's SC08 for camera home security system. Um, I've already gone ahead and unboxed the product. In the box, we have the four security cameras, the home base unit, um, the solar panels that can connect to every camera. Each camera has its own solar panel, as well as the mounting brackets for each solar panel, the Ethernet cord for the home base unit, and then, of course, your user's manuals. Um, so, first things first, this specific unit package does come with four individualized security cameras. These cameras are waterproof and can be installed outside of your home as well as inside of your home. The manufacturer does just warn against trying not to get the cameras too far from the home base unit. This base unit is pretty much where all of your um, photos and video are stored. So if you do connect the cameras to the home base unit, the um, ability to record and store the video onto the camera is actually pretty much obsolete at that point and would connect directly to the memory card that's in the home base unit. However, if you chose to not use that method, the video and photo would be stored right on each individual camera, but then of course you would need four individual memory cards rather than just one with the home base unit. But that's also kind of a nice feature. That way you wouldn't have to connect the cameras wirelessly, meaning through your internet to the home base unit. Um, these cameras too also can either run, like I said, off of the solar panel, which would have to be directly connected and installed with the camera, which would only, of course, work if the cameras were outside. But if you are using these inside, they can be charged for a minimum of five hours, but then have a turnaround time of a minimum of a 10 hour battery life. So if you were using them as an in-home security system or um, around the workplace, these can work inside as well which is a nice feature. But um, let's go ahead and get these cameras set up and linked to the app and see how they work. Okay, so now that we have our home base plugged into our wireless router as well as a power source, um, I did go ahead and connect the first camera. Again, this specific set came equipped with four cameras total. So I have the first camera up connected and running, so I will walk you through now how we do the remaining three. Um, the first thing you need to do after putting, <clears throat> excuse me, the first thing you need to do after plugging in your wireless router home base once you have plugged in your home base unit to your router as well as the power source, you can go ahead and download the Cloud Eye app. On an iOS, um, meaning an iPhone, the app looks like this little icon right here. However, in the user's manual, they do include a very easy to scan QR code. So what you'll do is you'll just scan this QR code and it will automatically download the app to your phone. So we have gone ahead and done that. We created an account and we signed into it. So now I'm going to walk you through how we will add these three cameras to the app as well as connect them to the home base. So all you have to do is once you're in the app and signed in, you're going to hit the plus icon right there. And it tells you to scan the QR code on the specific camera that you're trying to add. It does also verbalize these instructions for you. So this one we have added already. So I'm going to go ahead and on the side of each camera is a specific QR code, if you can see it there. So I'm going to just go ahead and scan that QR code and it will tell you the scan was either successful or unsuccessful. It now wants you to ensure that the camera is close to your router and your home base, which we still are. <clears throat> and then it wants to ensure that A, the camera is on, and B, the light is blinking. So we'll go ahead here and just turn the camera on. So our light is blinking now. So we'll just select device light is blinking, hit next ensure that we're on the proper network. 
Make sure your password is punched in. And then it will prompt you to actually place the camera in line with your specific QR code. So for whatever reason, this camera is not pairing with the QR code. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel on the app and we're going to start this again. But before doing so, on the back of the camera above your power button, there is also a button that says reset. So these cameras all come factory set to pair with the home base unit to try and make this process easier. However, I am finding that even though they're paired with the home base, getting them paired via the app has been a little complicated. So I'm just going to go ahead and reset this. It will automatically repower on and then we're just going to go through that entire process again. So the camera, that was just the camera turning on now. Um, I would like to make mention, these cameras have all been charged uh, previous to me making the video for five hours. So in the user's manual, it, it, excuse me, user's manual, it does state that the cameras need to be pre-charged prior to setting them up. So now that I've repowered the camera on, the light is blinking and we'll walk through those same steps again. So we've reset the camera. You heard the camera say that it has been reset. So we're just waiting for that again to power back on. And now you see our light mode. is blinking. <clears throat> so now the light is blinking the way it should be. So we'll go ahead. <clears throat> the app is telling us to scan the QR code. So we'll do that. It's checking the status. Once again, we are going to agree that everything is in close proximity to one another, ensure our camera light is blinking, which it is, hit next, our Wi-Fi is connected. Now let's try this again. So this just says to point the camera at your phone's QR code. And that ding, setting. Please wait. that ding just ensured that it did properly scan and now the camera is initiating itself. You did hear it say there that it's just um, ensuring the setup is working. The app will tell you that the device has been connected and then it does prompt you to include a camera name if you do choose to do so. So because there's four, sometimes it's kind of a good idea to just put a name with the camera. That way, once you're in the app and if you were to want to pull up the live stream of the camera, you could just click on each camera name specifically. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this camera. So I've done so. And then all you have to do is just click done once you're finished. <clears throat> Confirm the name that you have chosen and your connection is complete. So now we have both, we have two cameras connected so far. We have Bailey House 2, Bailey House 1, um, and then you can click on the live stream of each of those cameras. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now just so that everyone can see the quality of the camera recording and live stream, <clears throat> and then kind of walk you through the different features within the app. So we'll just go with the one we just created, which was Bailey House 2. So I just clicked the play button there and it's going to start the live stream. I'll point it out the window here. Oh, let's get the right angle. And there it is. So we are in a live stream right now. The user's manual does warn against setting it up on a main road or anywhere that's a high traffic area. Obviously because with all of the commotion in front of the cameras, it would A, drain your battery quicker and B, fill up your memory card, depending on the size of that card. Um, and then if you are utilizing the solar panels, on the back of the solar panel, <clears throat> For installation, it does prompt you to, here I'll show you, it says rotate the panels and set them up according to the direction of the compass and it suggests that you face the panel towards the southeast direction. Each solar panel has a built-in compass there so you can determine your location with those. 
Another thing I did want to point out is these cameras do have the capability of obviously connecting wirelessly to your phone so you can actually speak from your app into the camera. So I can, I'll try to show that to you now. So we are in the second camera here and I'm still in my second camera on the app. So what I would do is just hit this little call button. And now the noise and voice is coming actually through the camera. So that's kind of a nice feature. So that's just kind of a nice feature if you had um, packages being delivered to your home and your camera set off the notification to your phone saying there's movement in front of the camera, you open up your camera, it's the delivery man, and you can give him directions where to leave your package. The notifications from these cameras do come through in real time. Um, there should be zero delay with them, and so far I have not noticed a delay at all. Each camera and solar panel are waterproof and can be utilized outside within a specific range of the home base unit. The user's manual in the online description, however, did not specify as to how far the cameras can be from the home base unit. Um, but I have tested each camera and each location that we want to use it around our um, around our property and <clears throat> the max one I have right now is one on one of our outside buildings and it's approximately probably I don't know 30 yards from the home base unit and it is still connecting to the base unit and through the app um, and then once you're in the app specifically you do have the option of screen grabbing here on the top you can kind of see all your options um, so you can record, you can take a picture, you can turn the sound on. It's kind of loud outside because it's raining here. Um, you can, like I said, directly speak into the camera from the app. And then another option too is you can actually change the quality of your recording. So right now we're just in SD mode. So I'll show you here the difference in H with HD. So there it's an HD, not a huge difference, honestly, um, but a little bit of a difference. So I'm just going to go back to SD just for memory card's sake. And then another thing, too, that these cameras have the option to do is set off an alarm. So if you were at work and your camera system went off and you noticed that there was an intruder on the property, you can actually set these cameras to begin alarming. And because I have a few outside running already, I'm just going to show you on the one that I have sitting here um, so that you can hear it. It is pretty loud um, and obnoxious, so I apologize ahead of time, but I'll show you what that sounds like here. So I'm just connecting into the one of the cameras that I have sitting here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to alarm it, um, here on the top of your app screen, you would just hit this little button and it will go off for 15 seconds. So if you didn't shut it off manually, it will only alarm for 15 seconds and then it would automatically shut off. So that was one single camera alarming at that moment in time. If you wanted to, you could set all of your cameras to alarm all at the same time simultaneously if you were ever in that predicament. Um, but on the top of our um, app here, on the top of the view screen, you can just see your camera name, the battery life of the camera, your signal strength with your Wi-Fi, as well as the time. It's kind of cut off because of my screen protector, but it does have the current time up there as well and it is automatically set. So that was preset when I enrolled the camera, so I have the date and the time up at the top. You can kind of see it a little better here once I zoom on the recording. So you have your date, your time, your camera name, your battery life, as well as your signal strength. So this camera that I'm currently connected to is sitting, of course, right here next to me and our home base is right over there. So the signal strength should be pretty strong. Um, but let's just take a look and see what our signal strength is with the one that's already outside. Now, when these cameras are not detecting any movement, um, they do go dormant. So essentially, they're in a sleep mode until they um, sense any movement. So the camera right now is waking up because there's no movement in front of the camera, and there hasn't been for quite a few minutes now. Um, 
So our signal strength is still four out of five bars, even though it's outside and probably 50 feet or so from the home base unit. So you can see that there at the top. So all in all, I think this is a really nice um, system. They feel like they're very durable cameras. They're waterproof, which is phenomenal. They do have the signal arms on top here, as well as the adapter and connector on the back of the solar panel. And like I mentioned earlier, um, each solar panel does come equipped with attachment pieces as well and the hardware to do so. And the cameras can gimbal around, so if you attached it to the side of your building or your room, you do have the option to, um, to uh, change that camera angle there. Um, one thing I did not mention, I don't think, is that when motion is detected in front of your cameras, you will get a notification. So because I moved the camera that was sitting right here, the app did go ahead and notify me. Like I said, it was instant. The notification was in real time. So because I moved the camera, it shot through a notification just saying that there was movement detected in front of the camera. And then if I was at work or not home and I got that, you could click that notification and it drops you right into that specific camera that sends the motion. So if you guys want to check these cameras out, um, go ahead and click the link below. It will take you directly to the Cam Park website. And there are a few other options too with other security systems. Um, a couple just different options as far as cameras, some solar panel options, as well as the quantity of cameras that you receive in each pack. But like I said, we went with the Cam Park SC08 option and it came with four um, megapixel cameras as well as four attached solar panels. So all in all, I think this will be a very good addition to our security system here on our property, but check them out yourself and determine that for you. Have a good one.